so wonderful to see everybody's work so far. This has been so fun to be a part of. Thank you to everybody involved for making this happen. I know it takes a lot of work. Um, I am at Canopy Hotel by Hilton, uh, right downtown Jersey City, right in the heart of the Jersey City uh, Arts District. And I am on the lounge floor. And I'm just going to highlight a couple of pieces. Um, I'm one of the local artists that's featured in this show. Um, and we're so thrilled because Stefania Penapinto of Penapinto Fine Art and Galleries curated this amazing show entirely filled with local Jersey City artists or uh, artists that have strong ties to the city. Um, and it's a huge deal for us to, uh, for a Hilton downtown to be featuring all local artists. That's how it's done. That's so exciting. So thank you so much to Stefania and Penapinto Fine Art and Galleries and to Canopy Hilton for supporting the local Jersey City art scene. Um, so I'm at the head, I'm at the Bistro Cafe Lounge, and I'm at the head of what we're calling the Sculpture Studio. And we're featuring two uh, sculpture artists. And I just wanna highlight two pieces here while I can. Um, let's see if I'm getting this. I'm gonna go around. This is called Love, Hate, Human by Benjamin Keating. And it's a cast bronze sculpture. Let's see if I can go all the way around. And then um, right next to it, kind of juxtaposed with sort of a totally different material, organic material and size, we have Sandstone Passage. And this is by Elaine Lorenz. And it has a very, very different feel. Let me see if I can get see how they are together. And there's eight more um, by each artist. Um, and every, all the artwork is uh, for sale. So we really want you to come by, grab a bite to eat and a drink, um, and check out the eight other pieces per artist. Um, also, I just want to mention too, these pedestals were custom made um, by Bear Claw Designs. Um, and this was just, um, it's designed to sort of fit um, the theme of, of the whole um, hotel is sort of um, like elegance with an edge meets sort of a warehouse vibe. And I think they really pulled it off well. And uh, these are distressed pedestals made. He used to just um, take fallen trees and stumps from his yard and make furniture for his friends and family. And he's since escalated and now ships his artwork all over the world. And uh, the pedestals that are holding all the sculptures um, are made with this distressed look and they are all for sale also. Um, and I'm just gonna walk to show you my piece and take you on a little tour. That's called the Sculpture Studio. And if you wanna come and sit by the fire and have a drink, another cool place to hang out is the Painting Studio. Um, and again, all local artists, all for sale. But I love the way um, it's curated here. It has the huge tall warehouse ceilings and even just having the artwork kind of laid closer to the ground gives me that feeling that I'm in kind of a warehouse but then still has that cozy feeling which is what artists are always looking for. We want big spaces but we also want them to feel cozy and I know that's what they're going for here. And I love having the pieces on the ground because it just makes me feel like creativity is happening. Um, and now I'm going to, I think I can take my mask off because I'm going to bring us away from the people and into one of the bathrooms. Um, they really, there's 273 pieces of work here. So we really hope you can come check it out. Um, this is the wall where my piece is, but I want to highlight first um, Cheryl Gross's work. Um, she's a, a Jersey City artist. She's been here for 11 years um, and she does a lot of awesome pieces that really kind of celebrate the rich kind of cultural, artistic um, and diverse cultures and history here. And uh, this one's called Horn Player. And this was based on a man that she would watch play the horn by the Grove Street Path Station when she first moved here 11 years ago. Um, and also a view of a piece called Grove Station, just people waiting to go to work, um, capturing a lot about Jersey City. Um, and then this is my piece. It's called um, 
Ladders and Shoots, which is sort of a play on shoots and ladders because it's meant to kind of take you all over the place and keep moving all around. Um, and if any of you know my work, I usually work in very, very bright colors. I try and use like every color of the color palette. Um, but this piece was actually commissioned by a group called NMAS. And they reached out to all local artists for black and white pieces for a collaborative design on the American Dream, which is the currently 61,000 square feet largest mural in the country. Um, so I was commissioned to do a black and white piece, which is a really fun challenge for me because I do use so much color to kind of create the depth and layers. And so I had to challenge myself to see what can I do with just line. If it's just line and I don't have color to rely on, how do I create that flow um, and playfulness? So you can see bits and pieces of this in the American Dream uh, mural done by En Mass with five other local artists. And um, that's it. And I'm here to take any questions uh, if you want to ask about my work or anything here. And I'm just so thrilled that uh, Stefania was able to work with Canopy Hilton and support local artists. It's super exciting for us. Thanks so much. If anyone has any questions for Catherine, you're welcome to put them in the chat now and I can read them out. Catherine, how do you feel about your piece being in the bathroom? <laughs> um, actually, kind of good. At first I was like, oh, okay. But then I thought, you know what? That's actually when like, I kind of like take a break and sort of maybe pay attention. <laughs> a moment to myself I thought it might get seen more I think maybe that's sort of like when people have their private moment um so very curious to see how that goes awesome thanks so much for sharing that's a great collection um everyone can find more information about that uh, with Panapinto galleries